Welcome to your B Ambersent W B and W 802 model 80 wiring and I guess we'll call it upper mid-range and tweeter repair because all you guys with the old BMWs they use the very thin fiber disc that usually breaks when you're moving your speaker so here's how we repaired it uh, I don't have any music playing because YouTube and the apparatchiks think there's some kind of copyright infringement if you happen to be playing music in the background so uh, the hell with those guys but anyway here we go in case you're not sure about the coloring the color coding the green is the common the yellow is for the mid-range that'll power this speaker here and the blue well actually the white coming out of the speaker is high frequency and the blue going into the upper unit is high frequency the green out of this out of the lower unit out of the crossover with the green yellow is the common and the brown to the yellow out of the speaker is the mid-range so what I did is I put these uh, I put these crimp-ons they work if you wanted to do a solder job you could solder them there's enough wire but the big thing is get them going because the neat thing about these 802s old technology you're never going to get the base out of them that I have in the 804s just just not happening the sonic presence the brilliance the the, the just the, the stereo forefront stage is it's just better with these 802s the old ma it's model 80 804s are good but these these just they power past them that's the bottom line so here's how we fixed the plate that goes in there and this is the screw that goes through the top of the speaker mid assembly you just put it into the top slide it through and it doesn't go all the way down so you can't put a nut and bolt or something into this you have to re you have to make this fiber uh, disc replacement which I made it out of uh, half inch plywood solid it's not going to break off it's not going to move and I drilled out the template but what I am going to do is right here I'm going to slot it so I don't have to disconnect these so if you solder them if you slot this which is going to be the next iteration if you put a slot then you could just slide that in and not have to worry about your wiring and disconnecting them so again uh, improvement in the improvement is we're going to uh, slot that so hang on I'm going to show you the uh, well that's that's for the wiring just make sure you got that wiring correct it's pretty easy if you forget green green yellow is the common then just plug it into a speaker your crossover you'll hear if you're on the wrong one because the white is going to give you the high frequency so when you put it to the mid-range it's going to sound like a tweeter and uh yeah so remember the brown wire going up is the uh, mid-range that's the, the tweeter so hang on we're going to switch to the garage okay Here's the fiber disc I was talking about. And if anybody has these, you know that even if you, you put a little too much pressure on them, that fiber disc, which is nice, they, they thought it would, you know, reduce harmonics, and I can't fault B&W, because, man, these guys, these speakers are world-class without getting super esoteric. I mean, they are pricey, but they're worth it. So that's what happened. My kids happened to knock the speaker over, and guess what? Boom. So I simply placed this on top of the plywood that I cut out with the hole saw. Use a hole saw. You could use a jigsaw. But it's important to save this. You can get these anywhere. It's like, uh, I don't know what the thread is. But I saved it from the bottom of this. And simply, we're going to drive it in to the back of that. So that's the retaining. That's the captive nut for your mid and tweeter assembly 
that long screw is going to go right down and screw into this so once you bang it in then I did go around and uh, use this as the template the only thing is this template is a little bit wider because the you see what I did you're gonna to have to drill it to the same size because the screws have a rubber recess that's got to be a little bit wider so that the harmonics it doesn't vibrate so you got to make it just as wide as this I didn't do that because I didn't trust it but then I saw that they had the rubber mounted on there so I'm saying okay that's why they made that so wide because the uh, screw itself does have the captive rubber washer on it that's going to isolate it from vibration so uh, that's the story you know uh, if this helps you great but I know there's not a lot of information on B&W and, w and uh, that's that's because you really don't have to fix or play with them a lot but these are some old speakers like I said model 80 series 802 and uh, yeah they're just man they just kick so we're saving them bringing them back to life and another thing is you know everything in this economy is way expensive so I, I'm not participating in the new normal I'm going to resist and I'm going to fix my old stuff and pray for all that good stuff lower energy because that good music's never coming back we just saw Ted Nugent he kicks ass and sounds real great through a set of BMWs but I'm not sure what you guys are using for it, but peace out God bless America and good luck